Hi, Stephen here, and welcome to Worldview Trekking. Today we're doing a gear review of my favorite tent so far I've used on my through hikes, the Z-Pax Duplex. I do owe you a few disclaimers. One, I'm not sponsored to make this video. Two, no one is paying me to make this video. And three, my Z-Pax Duplex I paid for myself with my own income. Before we get to the pros and cons, let's cover the specs. The Z-Pax Duplex weighs 19 ounces, which is 539 grams, and is olive drab. The tent itself is made out of 0.55 ounce per square yard Dyneema composite fabric, otherwise known as DCF. The tent is a single walled design, it's stretch proof, waterproof, and chemical free, making it user friendly and good to the environment. When you receive your tent, it comes in a DCF stuff sack, which is 7 by 13 inches, which is 18 centimeters by 33. The tent itself has high quality craftsmanship, as you can see by the stitching on the edge of the tents. The tent is held in the ground by four bright yellow line lock guy lines. These four corner stakes are designed to hold the tent with the Z-Pax logos facing into the wind for durability. Two additional guy lines are available to expand on the headroom to the inside of the tent. These guy lines are found on each side of the tent. All the seams on the Z-Pack products are tape sealed. Every edge, every seam, both externally and internally. The edges, every possible seam, even with the storm doors, as you can see here. The top ridge line as well, to maintain the tent being waterproof, is tape sealed as well. Both sides of the tent are made out of 0.66 ounce per square yard super tiny insect screens. The doors that open up on both sides are 36 inches tall or 91 centimeters. The storm doors can be tied back both at one time to have clear air flow. When the storms are not as bad or the wind is not as bad, a single door can be tied back. With these line locks, you can lock the center doors together and create two storm doors closed on one side of the tent in specially stormy conditions. These doors can be latched together with a special lock on the outside of the storm doors. Both sides of the tent can also be closed together, all four storm doors closed at the same time. Trekking pole cla or collapsible poles can be placed inside the cup on the inside of the tent to hold it up. The floor of the tent is made out of one ounce per square yard DCF fabric, which is nearly twice as thick as the walls of the tent. The inside of the tent has two mesh storage pockets for storing keys, batteries, or other devices. The tent itself is plenty spacious on the inside, seven and a half feet long by 45 inches wide, which is more than enough for my 71 inch frame. The 48 inch center height is more than enough head clearance for most people. Each end of the tent has floor air vents which are adjustable to allow for a greater airflow. Inside the tent, there are fasteners for hanging lights and other devices. The outside of the tent, which comes standard, are hooks and latches for the freestanding system on the tent. Let's start off with the cons for the Z-Pax Duplex two-person tent. The first, as you will certainly notice as you look at the website, is that these tents are pricey. They're not cheap. They're not run-of-the-mill tents. They're designed to last. Are designed to be what you want when you go hiking so you're going to pay a lot up front for these tents but in comparison to other tent brands that are on the market these tents for the price you're going to pay and for the weight you're going to get out of that price is well worth your money on a side note to the price if you check the website you'll notice that there's a bargain link you can actually find usually scuff and dented parts of these tents or jackets or headgear they usually cost less 
may have some kind of minor discoloration or a blemish or a stitching issue, but when it comes down to it, it may save you money in the end. The other con, since the Z-Pax Duplex and all their tents are a single wall design, is the amount of condensation that you actually have building up on the inside of your tent. And the Z-Pax website acknowledges this. All brands of tents that are single wall design acknowledge the problem and they try to find ways to mitigate the problem. If you're leaving your tent doors open or more vents they put in their tents. But if you check on the Z-Pax website, they do actually give you a list of tips and tricks to try to keep the condensation down on the inside of your tent. So other than the price and the amount of condensation that builds up on pretty much all single wall tents, those are the only cons I have for the Z-Pax Duplex. Now let's go on to the pros, the positives of the Z-Pax Duplex. The first, and for any backpacker, the greatest plus of it is the Z-Pax Duplex two-person tent for the amount of size and space you're gonna get only weighs 19 ounces. It's far below in most other brands you can buy on the market. For 19 ounces, that's quite a bit for a two-person tent. That's my first plus, my first pro for the Z-Pax Duplex. Secondly, as a two-person tent, you've got a ton of room for a tent that's that light, that's only 19 ounces. So for the second part pro, you've got a massive amount of space for only 19 ounces. The third pro I like about the Z-Pax Duplex tents is the colors they choose for the tents. They appear to be all natural earth tone colors that aren't standing out as brightly on the skyline. The blues and reds and yellows and purple colors, they just don't seem to bit blend in very well with the wood, wood and forest surrounding. So my third pro for the Z-Pax Duplex is the colors they choose to make their tents. The fourth pro of the Z-Pax Duplex tent is its trekking pole design. If you're gonna be carrying along trekking poles on your hike anyway, might as well put those things to use to hold up your tent. So my tent, the duplex, is a two trekking pole design. I'm carrying along one trekking pole on that trip. I carry along a separate collapsible trekking pole, which is 48 inches long as well. And Z-Plex does sell those to complement the two trekking pole design of the duplex. The next pro of the Z-Pax duplex is the Dyneema fabric that they use to make the tents. The DCF fabric, although being lightweight, is also waterproof. And since Z-Pax already tapes all the seams for the tent, you've got a fairly well waterproofed and taped tent that keeps you dry in the night during the storms. The last pro I have for the Z-Pax duplex two-person DCF fabric tent is the fact it's made here in the United States of America. I know some people don't care where they buy their tents, but for me spending my money, I'm going to choose to support the smaller cottage industries here in the United States. So I choose, lastly, as a last pro, to support an American-made company, and Z-Pax is made here in the United States. So there you have it, there's my review of the Z-Pax Duplex two-person DCF fabric tent. In my opinion, it is the best, the lightest, and most cost-effective in comparison to other single wall tent brands. It's the best um, tent on the market that you can buy that's quality and made here in the United States of America. If you found any value in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.